guys, what's going on? It's your boy Kia Marley back with another video. And today, as you can guess by the title, this is the biggest moments in the East Midlands Derby. Yes, guys, if you do enjoy, then smash that like button, join the Marley Army by subscribing down below. We are on the road to 1,000 subscribers. Any help towards that would really mean a lot. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Absolutely unassailable, but own goals in the second half from Morgan and McKenna gave Derby hope and set up an extraordinary grandstand finish. And I'm afraid that tempers have boiled over. Right in front of the Derby County fans, there will be here repercussions to both clubs, I would think, for failing to control their players. The police are having to prevent supporters getting involved. Billy Davis sensibly walking away from it. But now there is a melee involving probably 20 players right in front of the Derby County supporters. And police and stewards are having to drag them away. It's a local derby which ends with tempers completely lost. War. Martin's touch, this is neat build-up from Derby County. It's War, it's a cutback. The finish lacking again. Another opportunity, Forrest block it away. Appears for handball, as presence deep through. He smuggled it into the back of the net. Five minutes on the clock. And it's Craig Bryson's 13th goals of the season. He's having a stunning season. Chris Martin's got a fair few, but Bryson breaking from midfield time and again this season. But here's Martin mid-time. Beautifully worked! What a fantastic goal that is from Derby! Bryson has another, Derby have another, and the Rams are pulling away. Oh, it's so, so simple, but so, so effective. And Forrest, just as they were coming back into the game, are just sliced open. Warrington has uh, obscured on his way to trying to get there, but Thorne has uh, plenty of physical presence about him. That's why Derby can look at the other end. Bamford's got the ball away. It's been done really well. Chance for a third here. There we go. What a beautiful break that was from Derby County. And Jeff Hendrick gets in on the act. Well, Forrest are being mauled by the Derby midfield as Jeff Hendrick this time. But how about the unselfish play of Patrick Bamford here? We just talked about it with Chris Martin, setting up Craig Bryson. Patrick Bamford, I thought he's running down a cul-de-sac here. But he has the vision to release a quite brilliant pass for Jeff Hendrick. Martin, Al Russell. Russell takes it on. That is absolutely stunning from Johnny Russell. A firecracker into the back of the forest net, and it's four for Derby. And it's a fantastic four for Derby as well. It's the cleanest strike you're going to see. And I'm under that cushion, but still working very hard. Derby hunting in packs. It's floated in by Fox. Henderson's header loose in the box and blasted wide. By Simon Cox. Bryson. Oh, what a flick that was from Chris Martin. Bouncing it in front of the goalkeeper, perhaps. And Bryson, if he strikes, could find his way into history and very nearly did. Thorne. Dropped in for the run of Bamford. Oh, and out comes Darlow. That's going to be a penalty. And once Darlow comes off his line, he's got to get a hand on the ball, and he's nowhere near it. You have to wind back the clock. Two centuries, 1898. The last time Derby beat Forest 5 0. There was a man who got a hat trick that day, and Bryson is the man who has the hat trick this. The 
the stuff that memories and legends are made of. Derby County 5, Nottingham Forest 0, and Craig Bryson joined Steve Bloomer in the history books of this fixture. Days like this, if you support Derby County, just do not come around very often. Craig Bryson's hat-trick has guided Derby to the very best of wins against Nottingham Forest. 112 years, the one and only time they managed a winning margin of this magnitude against their rivals from up the A52. and then Miller bustling into the six-yard box and Fielding dives across him and referee Matheson points to the spots and slowly but surely brought out the red card. What an introduction for Adam Leshkins, signed in the summer from Burton Albion and in front of the Derby supporters, a chance to make himself an instant hero. Lewis McGugan has taken Forrest's earlier penalties this season. He's on the bench, so it's Andy Reid. Scores. Forrest in front again at the city ground inside the opening minutes. Just the start he wanted. That might just lift some of the pressure that has been building on the Forest boss. Ben Davis. A bad slip there for one of the Forest players who stayed down. We'll come back to that in a moment. Hendrick for Brayford. Forest and certainly their fans are expecting Derby to put this ball out of play, but I'm not sure that Derby know what's happened here. Play continues with Shackle. Nigel Clough is telling Derby to carry on here. Carry on, he says. It's not our problem. It's Ward against Mojewski. Ward to the byline. And still going, Jamie Ward. It's a great run and he scored! Jamie Ward with the equaliser. Forrest wanted Derby to put the ball out of play. Nigel Clough said, no, you carry on. And boy, did Jamie Ward do precisely that. On, on, on he went. And Ward levels for Derby County. But it will be another huge slice of controversy in this fixture. Got away from Majewski got away from Gunter and then somehow beat his Northern Ireland colleague Lee Camp at his near post. 1-1. Over the top by O'Brien, Forrest appealing for offside here. Morgan's clearance, Ben Davis first to it. Struck goal, was it in? Oh, what a finish! And it's Jeff Hendrick, the man that missed the glorious chance earlier. My, as he made up for it with that sweet strike. Terrible defending by Forrest. Morgan's clearance was weak. Davis in there quickly to pick up the pieces. Hendrick said, this is mine. Bang, goal. Ten-man derby. Take the lead with less than 20 to go at the city ground. What a sweet strike the from the Irish. Forrest whistling their disgust. All eyes on referee Scott Matheson. 
who blows for full time. It's all over at the city ground. What a dramatic afternoon. Nigel Clough wins on his former stomping ground, a day that couldn't have started much worse. His goalkeeper sent off, Forrest in front from the spot after two minutes, but then Jamie Ward and then Jeff Hendrick scored their first goals of the season for Derby to win and pile the pressure on the beleaguered Steve McLaren. It's a wonderful day for Derby fans. It's a miserable one for Forest ones.